In this video, we cover the arithmetic operators in Python. All right, so let's get into it. Now this is gonna be a pretty quick, simple video because you likely know how to do math already. So this is gonna be very simple, obviously. Uh, but let's go ahead and run through the arithmetic operators really quick. So print, print, and then we'll just do three plus four. So what is that gonna be? Seven, awesome. So there's addition, and then of course there is subtraction. So negative one. Uh, there's also multiplication with the asterisk. Notice it's an asterisk, not a, an X or something like that. Run that real quick. There we go. Multiplication, division, of course. Boom, just like that. And then there's also mod, which is the remainder after dividing. So we can do, which is a, a percent sign, 3% 4. So the remainder is three when you divide those together. And then there's also exponents to do that. It's double asterisk. So three to the fourth power is 81. And then finally you can do division and it rounds down to the nearest integer. So three divided by four is 0.75 and round that down to zero. Uh, if we do it a bigger number, 56 divided by four, we'd have 14 and so on. So it divides the numbers and then rounds down to the next closest integer. All right, so while I was editing the video, I realized I might've cut it a little short. I should have included a couple extra things. So I'm doing that now. So one thing you can do with numbers is you can store them you know, as variables. So we could say like three equal to three, four equal to four, and then you can do math with the variables. So print three times four, and boom. So you're using these variables instead of you know writing out the numbers. So I'm gonna point that out to you real quick that if you have an integer or float 3.3, .3, uh, you could go ahead and you know do math just like normal using the variables. Also, you can create fancy, crazy mathematic equations if you want to, uh, and it goes in the same order as regular math. It follows PEMDAS, so parentheses first, then exponents, and then multiplication and division left to right, and then addition and subtraction left to right, PEMDAS. And so here's you know an example of PEMDAS. Uh, but we'll just go ahead and copy this formula real quick and paste it in here just to save a little bit of time and so you can see kind of how it works. So we got this equation here. This is supposed to be a, a pat to the second power, which remember is double asterisk. And then we don't use X's, we use an asterisk here uh, for multiplication. And we'll run it real quick and we come out with 160. And let's come over here and see what the answer is. And if we scroll all the way down here, we see, and finally, what about the example from the beginning? We have 160. So that's how they came up with the equation or the, the answer. And that's how you know Python did it as well. So I just wanted to point those two things out real quick that you can use variables as integers and floats and do math with those variables. And also you can do crazy mathematic equations if you want to as well. You don't have to keep it super simple. And so that's really it for this video. Those are the arithmetic expressions inside of Python. If you found this video helpful in any way, shape or form, I appreciate any likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. And I hope that you have a great rest of the day.